I'm compelled to go deeper into the heart of the conflict, even if it means going behind enemy lines. There are militia units below us, and they're hostile to the park, so they would fire at us. Are we safe being up here in this airplane? If we're over 2,000 feet, um, the bullets, they don't even penetrate the skin. Emmanuel de Marod is the director of Virunga National Park. Having served for over 30 years, he now commands the Ranger Battalion that defends it. And right now, he's flying us up to Lake Edward, one of the most conflicted front lines of conservation in all of Africa. For years, it's been a victim of mass poaching and a prime target for illegal mining activity. We're starting to get into much more of a militia controlled area here. Up to about here, um, it's the FDLR militias. And then further north, it's these Mai Mai Congolese militias who historically have been very, very violent. How often are your rangers being confronted with these militia rebels? Typically two or three uh, confrontations every week. So it's every, every, every three week. days, yeah. Over 200 rangers have lost their lives in clashes with militias. In fact, just four months prior to our arrival, half a dozen rangers were gunned down by rebel forces. Yet despite the frequency of the brazen attacks in this area, it's where we must go if we want to understand the causes that undermine the foundation of the park. And to see the impact of those threats on the wildlife, we'll need to get within striking distance of Africa's deadliest animal. Lake Edward's 900 square mile body of water and its fish sustain hundreds of thousands of people. And the linchpin for all of it is the hippopotamus. In order to get a closer look at one of the last pods of hippos left in Eastern Congo, we must leave the safety of our boat and set out on foot. Wow, look at that. That's a lot of hippos. Yeah. Although they appear slow, and at times even docile, hippos are the most dangerous animal on the continent. Responsible for more human deaths than any other mammal. Check that out. They're staring right at us. This is probably about as close as we want to get. You, you wouldn't want to get into the water with them. Lake Edward was once home to the largest population of hippos in the world. At one point, over 27,000 of them roamed these waters. But by the 1990s, poaching took their numbers all the way down to less than 350 individuals. As another keystone species, hippos play a critical role in this freshwater environment by providing essential nutrients to the lake and its fish. In turn, they help sustain communities surrounding Lake Edward. Without them, locals will suffer and the lake will eventually die. So we lost almost 99% of all the hippos. Hippos are killed for their meat. One hippo will fetch three or four hundred dollars on the local market. It's, that's a huge amount of money for the militias. Anyone who's got a gun can suddenly make a lot of money. For the last 10 years, we've been really working on trying to protect these populations, but um, still a long way to go. So if you could boil it down, the short-term gains of poaching are leading to potentially long-term detriment yeah. for the communities that live around the park. But if we don't find a solution, there is no future for this park. What's needed is change. If you want to see more action from the Congo, watch the entire adventure that we produce with Leonardo DiCaprio by clicking Watch Next or the link in the description below.